Hey. Hey. What are you doing over there? Fixing this chair. Oh. <laughs> yeah, those chairs fall apart a lot. Yeah. I love I love that you're a handyman. I need to get you more tools, huh? So which is better? Yeah. I love you, my handyman. I love you. Today just seems to be a very sleepy day. April was asleep, but she's not feeling well. She says she feels she's getting a little bit of a fever. But Bo's asleep, and April's mom and mother-in-law is in her room, either sleeping or playing a game. So it's like a very relaxed house right now. And I'm actually getting ready to go to work, but I'm also gonna make a sandwich for myself and April. Wake her up so she can at least get some food in there. Probably just gonna make a peanut butter jelly sandwich. A little bit of good news, I was supposed to be driving today, and around 11 o'clock one of these servers texted me and says, Hey Doug, can you cover my serving sheriff tonight? I talked with the managers, they approved you serving instead of driving. So now I'm doing a serving shift tonight, which is awesome because I really, really needed that. So yeah, I'm going to be serving today, second day this week. And I just lost my train of thought. In the end. Houston, we have a problem. Hi guys. Um, so I'm up now. I really feel like crap. You know when your body starts just aching and you can kind of feel like you're getting sick? Like you're just, you're just achy and you just don't feel that good? Well, that's kind of how I'm feeling right now. And um, I'm up because I need to edit this week's vlog. Today's Saturday, so the vlog for this week, or yeah, this week's vlog is going up tomorrow. And Doug is at work. And I believe he took the re with him. So yeah, we have a problem. Because I have a lot of footage on our little re camera that looks like a periscope. Um, I have a lot of footage on that that's going in this week's vlog. And I tried texting him, I tried calling him. He's not picking up the phone because he's serving. So, I'm not sure what to do. You guys wanna hear some sad news? So I thought that the gym was going to be open until 10 o'clock. Me, my mom, and my dad got all dressed up to go to the gym. See, I'm in swimsuit kind of attire, workout kind of attire. And uh, we get there, and there's literally no one in the parking lot. They leave the lights on, so we're like, mm, maybe there's someone there. Maybe because Saturdays usually are super slow anyway. No one really goes to the gym. So we're like, mm, maybe we'll just pull up and see if someone's working there. No, the place is completely dead. And I felt kind of crappy because I told them that I thought they closed at 10. When they actually closed at 8 on Saturday so I did a big I did a big fail and my dad was kind of pissed at me because <laughs> he really wanted to do some workouts today but anyway okay. so we won't be going until Monday I didn't get a workout in at all today I'm kind of disappointed in myself neither did I well, yeah but you were was... you were serving you got to walk around a little bit I'm stuck at home doing nothing how was work anyway I only walked 7,700 miles but... only 7,700 miles. Only. I'm only at two on my watch thingy, on my thing. I'm only at two. Good morning, guys. Look at her. Doesn't she look like the most perfect, beautiful person in the whole world? Good morning. Um, we're just getting ready for church. We have church in about 20 minutes. And I'm just editing my picture that I'm posting on Instagram. And fixing my necklace because it's, like, choking me. <laughs> <laughs> I have a tie. That is like choking you. Choking me and stylish. <laughs> I was gonna say stylish, but yeah, it's a little too tight. But hey, it's a tie. It's a tie. I'm physically drained. He's physically uh, energy. <laughs> He's physically drained. Actually, I'm out of breath walking up those stairs. Like for some reason, when I'm the thirsty, last, the last three steps, I was like, Ugh! yeah, I was. Ugh! We're both really <laughs> tired. We didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Not really any sleep last night, to be exact. Zero. We stayed up all night so that we would be <laughs> able to go to church today. <laughs> um, so we just got home from church, and it was really good. The talks in sacrament meeting were, like, really awesome. And the one that really stood out to me was, like, the whole, they, there was a talk on being, like, financially free and mm -hmm. being kind of debt-free and getting your planning for the future kind of thing and that's something that Doug and I have actually been kind of working on because we want to be financially, we stable. financially stable and we want to be debt free that's something yes. that him and I are seriously seriously working on we actually came up with a plan the other day um we're still working on it but 
And one What's thing, yeah, one thing that he had mentioned that just really hit home to me was how often do we as individuals think about money and buying the newest things and well, items and well, paying who, oh, bills. Who, oh, who we owe money to. Yeah, who we owe money to. Above the Savior. Above the Savior, above the Lord. How often does money come up in our conversations and in our mind and everything before we think about the Lord? And that just really hit home to me because, mm -hmm. you know, Doug and I have been struggling. We have our struggles. I, th I think everybody has their financial struggles. And um, it comes up almost daily between him and I. Mm -hmm. Oh, how much did you make it make today in tips? Instead of, you know, did you say your prayers? Did you read scriptures? Or, hey, let's read that scriptures a, or say uh, prayers. Slap in the face. Yeah, it really was. It really hit home to us. And something that both him and I really, really need to work on. And I just, I really loved today's talks at church. It was very, very uplifting, something that mm -hmm. we both needed to hear. Yes. So we're actually sitting here watching American Ninja Warrior USA versus the world. And we've seen now two people complete the hardest course. One Japan, from Japan. One from Europe. Yeah. And now it's up to USA. We have to beat this course. No American, no USA person has ever beat, what is it, the third one? The, the fourth course. Fourth course. No, it's the, the third, the third course. course. Yeah, no yeah. one, no American has ever beat the third course, so we're hoping some of them can. But I'm actually really happy that Europe did, because they have kind of the same build as Americans. You know, there's Europeans in America, so I'm happy with that. Mm -hmm. So we'll see what they, what happens. I'm excited to see it. We found the first American to beat it! Woo! Go Brian Go Brian Look at that, they're all just right there now. He, he, I think he beat by like 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Yeah, he beat 20 it. seconds. Yeah. Woo! Team oh USA! My gosh, that is awesome. So I have quite literally spent the last two hours on the phone scheduling and rescheduling and figuring out what's going on with my insurance um, for doctor's appointments. So I had originally had an MRI scheduled for the 27th when I get back from girls camp to do on both of my knees because it was recommended by my PCP that I do that because there obviously is inflammation and things going on. But Mercy Care, I got a phone call the other day um, and we have Mercy Care insurance and Mercy Care doesn't want to cover it. They want me to do an x-ray first of both knees because they don't want to pay for an MRI if it's not needed, which I guarantee it will be needed because I have a lot of, you know, issues with my knees. So... <laughs> I've been on the phone for about two hours trying to get all that figured out. I also have to go in for a biopsy for um, my girl parts. <laughs> um, and I just got that scheduled. And that won't even be scheduled till like August. So hopefully by then everything will have been great. And I won't have to actually do the biopsy. Everything will have, you know, worked its way out. And I won't have to do that. But, um, yeah. So I'm glad I got everything accomplished got my scheduling things work worked out but man being on the phone waiting to talk to somebody in the scheduling department is like a major pain in the butt Hello guys, I've been home for a couple hours now. I've just been kind of dilly-dallying. I was actually looking for the most part for the camera. I didn't realize April had put it right here at the bookshelf right down there. I was looking over on the computer, looked downstairs, looked in the bedroom, looked in the makeup room, looked in the bathroom, I looked everywhere in the house, and all along when I sat down it was right next to me. Funny, right? Anyway, I'm home. April was asleep when I got home. She's She woke up for a little bit and had to wake up at 7 o'clock so we can go to the gym. So that's what I'm going to do. It's 6 o'clock right now. So, she was just really tired. She needed to take a nap. Uh, what? Don't talk about me. I'm talking about how much I love you. I love her. <laughs> do you guys see this mountain of cups? <laughs> it's kind of. It's kind of. A little bit ridiculous, right? Well, I bring up two, Good morning, two sleepyhead. cups a day for you and for me. 
So yeah, that's a lot of cups we have downstairs. <laughs> that was all the cups we had upstairs we brought down last night. It's just a little bit ridiculous. But I wanted to show you what I made for breakfast. So this is, yeah, I'm gonna wash them. This is the egg salad sandwich. I totally just ate my sandwich and this is just kind of what's left. I'm gonna use what's left to make my dad a sandwich because he's hungry over there sitting in his chair. And I'm gonna make Doug a peanut butter and jelly sandwich because that sounds good to him, I think. Mm -hmm. So, crazy. that uh, egg salad sandwich was so, so good. You should taste it. You should taste it. Let me know what you think. It was so good. What do you think? That's actually really good. Really good, huh? Mm -hmm. Did you drop those off? Yeah. The bags? Yeah. We're here at Fry's. I'm with mom and... Uh, <laughs> All of those? All of those. Wow, so we had a lot of bags left over. So we're here at Friday dropping them off. It's really loud, sorry. Um, and we're also gonna take a look at some hamburger meat. And I need to look at some stuff for girls camp, getting some snacks and stuff, probably some granola bars, maybe trail mix, some things like that. I found the snacky aisle. I think I'm gonna get some wheat thins. They're two for four right now. And they have the reduced fat kind. So I think this is what I'm gonna get. What'd you find? It's seven bucks for this though, but it's got crazy things. Ooh, that does look good. Crunchy things and almonds. And well, I'm only gonna be gone for three days, so that might actually work. You can just put it in there. I'll get it. I'm only gonna be gone for three days, so. My hair is still wet. I wish it would dry quicker. Um, I've been doing, I've been having to do some intense hair masks because of the chlorine because we go to the pool so much. Hey, hey, I'm vlogging here, lady. I'm vlogging. <laughs> anyway, I've been having to do some pretty intense hair masks and last night I slept with coconut oil in my hair and I think I actually still have a little bit in it. I washed it twice, shampooed it twice, but my hair's still wet and it's still kind of like oily a little bit. So I'm just wanting this to dry already. So I'm actually sitting here at the school in my car um, I'm actually about to go in and talk to my advisor because the deadline for my financial aid being due, or not financial aid for my classes I need to be paying for, is coming up in seven days. And I still haven't gotten my notice to saying that I'm actually even getting my financial aid because my time lapse is not complete. I don't know what to do. So I'm here to try and get it resolved, get taken care of get it out of my hair so I'm not having to worry about if I'm even going to be able to go to school this upcoming semester. So Doug and I try really hard to keep these vlogs positive, but this week has just been really, really hard and very trying um, with a combination of just some health issues that I've been dealing with, you know, my tooth and some other female issues going on. And today we got some really bad news. I don't know if Doug has shared with you or not, but he may not be able to go to school for like another year because of financial aid. And um, we don't have the money to foot, it, to foot the bill for him to go to school, clearly. So I'm just, I don't know what to do. Today's been such a hard day. It's like one bad thing after another and... Like I said, I, we try really hard to stay positive. We try really hard to keep our vlogs positive and to keep a positive morale throughout the day, but sometimes life is not always happy and sometimes things happen and I'm just honestly like at a loss for words. And um, I guess if I could just ask those of you who, um, believe in God or anything, if you guys can just keep us in your prayers because there are things going on in our life that are just really, really trying us right now and we're trying to stay strong, trying to keep the faith that everything will work out, but yeah, we're struggling. My mouth hurts. <laughs> mm. Well, hopefully we can be able to go to the dentist soon. They don't open until 8.30. Yeah. 
My mom says she thinks it's an abscess that I have. And I literally haven't gotten any sleep because I hurt so much. My mouth has a heartbeat. <laughs> so, so despite not, so despite not having any insurance, I am having a hard time talking. Um, I'm going to the dentist because my mouth is just, I can't even, con I can't even handle the pain. I really, I've been up all night, I was crying most of the night. I just, oh. It hurts so bad and there's like a lump on my gums where my back of my tooth is so yeah going to the dentist right now you look like you're in an exotic background <laughs> yeah, this place is pretty cool it is pretty cool look at this all these they this like beautiful artwork and that's a pirate ship mm -hmm. of some sort this is really cool Nice kid friendly place. Oh, yeah, I've heard dentists. I'm not a kid though. You're a big kid. <laughs> I have a gum issue and I'm getting out of Not that news. Oh, my brother's in town. <laughs> hey, I'm in town. Hey, bro, what's up? This is my not brother much. Adam. I'm the army guy. The, the army, army guy. guy. Sergeant Curio. Remember that. Curio. <laughs> sergeant Cudiez. You're a sergeant? Cudiez. I'm a sergeant now. I did not know that. <laughs> yeah. I didn't Movie. And Doug needs to go get my medication. <laughs> We're watching In Time. In Time. It's a good one. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually coming here to CVS to pick up the antibiotics now that April needs for her her mouth. Apparently she just has a uh, pretty bad bacterial infection um, that's been causing most of the pain. Actually probably all the pain. So I'm here to pick that up and also pick up another prescription that we've had for about a month that we just kind of forgot about. Uh, and so we're picking that up as well. Honey. Honey. I look like a hot mess. Because you are a hot mess. <laughs> That's not very nice. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a hot mess, you guys. I'm really not feeling good. I'm still on the mend from going to the dentist yesterday. The whole, like inside of my mouth is so swollen. She scraped and scraped at my teeth and ugh, they hurt. I'm feeling the pain today. So um, I think we're gonna end the vlog. I'm just gonna be at home on the mend, trying to get better, feel better. So hang out, watch Property Brothers. That's literally like all we've been doing. Yeah. All I've been doing all morning is watching Property Brothers. Yeah. So Doug's got to go to work here in just a few minutes, but I think we're going to end the vlog. Sorry that this week wasn't as thrilling, as entertaining as some of our other weeks, and was a little bit more depressing than it normally is, but we've just had a lot of things come up with Doug's schooling issues and health issues with me. I swear, the health issues, they never end. They no, never, they, they never end. It's, it's my trial that I have to deal with in this life, apparently. So, um, anyways, again, if we can just ask you guys to keep us in your prayers, because we are definitely struggling with a few things, we and appreciate uh, it. we appreciate all the love and support that you give us, and I guess we'll see you guys we'll next week. see you next week. Yeah, next week. Bye. Bye. Love you guys. Mm -hmm. Mwah.